So the Broken Hearts Day week-long event has landed and with it a few surprises including offering us the chance to get that bloody harvest loot once again. Today I explain all people. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like it really helps me out and subscribe if you want to see more. On screen now you can see my weekly giveaway along with last week's winner. To be in with a chance of winning this yourself, follow the instructions on screen now and good luck. So the Broken Hearts Day event is now live and with it comes a few things for us to do. Mainly we have to farm 100 hearts to get 5 loot rewards sent to us from us. Now the hearts are kind of easy to farm but in my opinion the best place to do this and the quickest place to do this is no doubt the dinos that throw themselves at you from the waterfall which I covered in a video earlier today which is located on Eden 6. It's a farm I will mention and showcase right here in this video though so stay tuned. It is a place I feel many will use after hearing about what these hearts can indeed offer. So there are 6 hearts in total and we can see them one by one on screen now. The first one, this light green one. Upon you shooting it, it explodes into a goo of corrosive damage I believe, damaging nearby enemies. The second one here upon you shooting it hits the ground and causes a fiery explosion, burning enemies nearby. This brown heart I'm calling the ally heart. Shoot these near enemies and they become your ally for a short time. This second red heart upon you shooting it will replenish your health. This yellow or gold heart is a loot heart dropping sometimes multiple legendaries. These hearts I have seen by the way small and big I don't know what the difference is. The smaller ones are harder to hit maybe they give you a boost in what these offer I'm not too sure though. And the last heart people this second green one slightly darker is what I'm calling a ghost heart as we see a picture of a ghost on it. And this in my opinion is the rarest of them all, definitely for me anyway. Because what this heart actually offers is upon you shooting it, it spawns in loot ghosts which we last saw within the bloody harvest event. And you can actually see often those gold or yellow loot ghosts spawn from this heart. Now upon seeing many of these loot ghosts I wondered, can we get bloody harvest loot from these loot ghosts as they do drop legendaries upon you killing them. After killing a few I didn't see any of that bloody harvest loot in terms of the gas cool and the scream of terror shield and the stalker sniper. There's a few which were quite good. So I did a little research and I actually found people that indeed bloody harvest legendary loot does drop from these loot ghosts which is amazing. What this means is we can get loot from the bloody harvest at a level 53. Now the only thing I'm really looking for is the vindicator gas cool grenade. I need this in my life. Xbox players watching this, if you come across this grenade at a level 53, please hit me up via my Discord linked within the video description or message me on Xbox, my gamer tag is IamDPJ. Now farming these hearts in search of those loot ghost hearts isn't easy. They are quite rare if I'm honest, but I found the best place to farm these hearts which is on Eden 6 upon the voracious canopy area. Follow this route I take on screen now. Come <laughs> on. 
once you get here activate this checkpoint upon you backing out and loading back in that's quitting out and loading back in you will spawn at this checkpoint what you do then is simply take out this group of enemies in this one corner then dinos will eventually throw themselves down the waterfall and hearts will also follow and simply just take them out destroy those hearts hopefully you'll get what you want then quit out and load this place back up rinse and repeat people farm as we do and this is the best way in my opinion to farm these hearts yes the slaughter shaft is good i used it earlier the system of slaughter is also good I used that earlier but this in my opinion is much better and much easier to farm so yeah people i know what i'm going to do i'm going to farm my ass off trying to get that gas cool at a level 53 and that is that people i thought i'd just make a video updating you guys on this event what these hearts do and what they can offer on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video or upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.